Welcome back to Four Wheel Drive Adventure Crew. My name is Voss, and we are on an epic adventure for a first snow of this year. And if it snowed, that means I need to change my hat. There we go. Now we can officially open up our winter adventure time. So we're going to be heading out towards Bowman Lake, and we're starting out at Nevada City. We're going to cross this bridge behind me and head up the hill till we find some snow. There's been a lot of cars on the road heading up the hill, so we might run into a lot of people out on the trail. So, but it's uh, snow season. We just had fall a couple weeks ago, and then November 1st, the snow snowstorm came in, and uh, now we got snow everywhere. So it's time to start the season of snow wheeling and having fun in the snow. Stay tuned, we're about to hit the trail. Starting from 2,000 feet elevation and going to be going up probably close to six to 7,000, depend how far we can make it up the hill. And with a crowd like this, we're sure to find some trouble and have fun getting out of that trouble. Entering Malakov's Digging State Park. And we got a little bit of paved road here before we turn off onto a dirt road. And we're gonna be going up the hill. But this park is pretty cool. Plenty of uh, cool places to see and a lot of trails to walk. Uh, it's a uh, state park, North Bloomfield, Malakoff Diggings. All right, we're turning off on Relief Hill Road. The last time we attempted this, right after New Year's, it was really a lot of snow. So right now we're just gonna go through this area. It's a uh, a lot less snow than it was in the winter last year, but still should be interesting to get to uh, Bowman Lake area. Snow is wet and get being really slick. But we're starting to drive up the hill. We're at 30 at 3900 and we're about to turn off on the road that's gonna shoot us straight to 5,000 feet. So we're almost to some deep snow. But somebody drove in front of us here a few days ago because it's a uh, really wet snow and not a lot of it. So. That time of the year when you go explore places and get in trouble getting stuck somewhere. All right, we're 
we're uh, turning off off the relief hill road and we're turning off on the road that nobody driven up in the snow yet it should be interesting from here from 3900 we're gonna go straight up to 5,000 feet in a matter of about three miles or two miles so it's gonna be really quick uh, going up a hill and snow is uh, wet and gets into your tires and you're sliding left and right here so we got a lot of vehicles behind us let's keep on rolling Making the path for everybody is the best type of snow wheeling you can have. Can you get back up just in case? Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> This year winter came a little bit earlier than last year because uh, last year we still had barely any snow right around Christmas. And this year, November 1st, had a good two feet of snow in a couple days and then a uh, few more snow showers followed afterwards right now it's november 12th it's been a few weeks of snow being here and it's pretty interesting it's kind of fun to start the winter season this early in a season that means we might have a really good snow year which it's gonna be fun going out. And then the other thing is for California is a lot of water that we need to sustain us through the summer. But then the trail clearing has to start early this year. It's an old rotten tree. I think we can chop it in half and move it. We have a lot of people. Let's start doing it. We did a community service by removing this tree off this road because it's a normally traveled road in the summertime but as soon as we moved the tree we noticed something else here and that is a, a burnt down side by side wish we were able to just haul it away but i need to bring a trailer all the way up here
we drove about maybe uh, 300 feet from the big tree and cleared two more smaller tree branches broken off of blocking the road. This is uh, turning into trail maintenance adventure, not snow wheeling adventure. But it is part of it because when you go out and explore trails and check them out, you find trees in the way. If you have means to move it, you move it for somebody else. So somebody else can appreciate when they get through here and see that the trees are already moved for them. That way they don't have to turn back and uh, miss out on the fun on some of these uh, small trails in the snow. And here we go, another tree in the way. This is getting a bit ridiculous. chainsaw. at the top we're at 4600 feet and we got probably around 8 to 12 inches of uh, wet snow so it compacted probably was like a foot and a half or so when it was uh, fluffy and then it compacted down to 5,000 feet elevation. There's a good, uh, I would say two feet of snow that's already packed down. I'm down to five PSI with my beadlock. So today we'll be testing out my beadlocks. My sister's in town and a bunch of other cars. So let's hit the road because we're almost to Graniteville. So after Graniteville, we're gonna be closer to Bowman. turned around because the radio came in at uh, JK broke down behind me so we gotta turn around go get them see what happened and uh, get them fixed up so we can get going because it's 11 uh, 20 and we want lunch I don't want to have lunch past one one o'clock so let's uh, get over there get them working get them fixed up and back on the trail we found a problem he lost a bolt that's what happens when you drive on projects. You work on it, you find problems, you fix them. Somebody was way too ambitious today. Decided to see the limits of the yeah. Gladiator on the, uh, what? How, how, what's your tires at? Uh, 12. At 12 PSI. If this fails, he has to deflate. 
Looks like JL has to pull out the Gladiator. Since it's the new, new body style buddies over here. While we're fixing the Jeep, people are having fun. So let's see if he can get out by himself or not. All right, watch out. Stop, 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 stop. So you're good, you're good, you're good. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Okay, back up. Ha ha ha. Woohoo! Jeep is fixed. Gladiator's out. Let's keep on rolling. town of Greneville. This is the town we were trying to get to after New Year's last year to clear the road and get access uh, to the residents that live here all the time because we had that storm had over four, four, four feet and a half uh, snow and uh, we had to bring in some big trucks to clear the path to get to this town. We were struggling, but we got through it. So now it's November and they already snowed in pretty well. But at least it's not that bad. It's still uh, accessible. But it uh, just shows you how remote places you can live in, which is really cool.
Well, we got the truck out of the ditch and onto the straight road. So he wants to attempt himself to get around and keep going. So we uh, got him onto a straight road. So we're gonna create a track for him so he can follow and see if he can get out. Like I was saying earlier that we have a lot of vehicles in this area this today that uh, there's a group of uh, Toyotas uh, on some big tires that are creating a path right now through snow nobody uh, have driven this section yet from this uh, part of the town towards Bowman and they're just digging slowly slowly digging over there which is uh, kind of crazy we're only at uh, 5,700 feet and we're having to battle with so much snow. I don't know how far we're gonna make it today. But no matter how far we'll make it, it's still fun. Beautiful snowy day outside, you can't beat it. Well, with so much traffic on the way, so we decided to stop and have some lunch over here in the woods. So we're uh, packing some... <laughs> yeah, go ahead, follow after me. So we're trying to make plenty of uh, track for everybody that's behind us, so we'll see how far we can make it. But it's tough going. The snow is not as nice as it was a week ago.
Веревка, что там? Well, we got ourselves a camp spot, and uh, it's been tough getting here. We almost at 6,000 feet, and uh, it's pretty tough going. So we got uh, nine vehicles to accommodate here, fire pit, and basically just to relax and enjoy our time here. And it's starting to snow a little bit. That's our layout. How was your trip? Awesome. A lot of snow. A lot of snow. Oh, look in the air. Too much snow for this to be this early in the year. We probably didn't even make it, what, 25% where we wanted to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, nine vehicles trying to accommodate everything. We got a little kids with us. Everybody wants to sit by the fire, relax. So, should be interesting. Yeah, you gonna go sled? You guys build a hill yet? Huh? Did you guys build the hill? No? Okay, so you guys gonna go build a hill, nice. We're trying to find a hill. We got some food going on over here. It's all ready. That was quick, hold on, let me adjust the angle. Ooh. Nice. Good job, girls. What's huh? there? That's your lunch and dinner. <coughs> so. Time to have lunch. Well, we just had lunch. And look at the snow. It's crazy. It's just snowing. What a beautiful day to be out. good lunch we're just sitting here for a couple hours and it's been snowing since we came here this is how much snow we accumulated on our cars so the snow is coming down pretty well I think after a few hours of this snow we're gonna have a lot more snow here but we're gonna go and see if we can get out a different way we'll see how the road clearing was from the cars that was ahead of us earlier and if they haven't made it to Bowman Lake, then uh, we're gonna turn around and came back the same way we uh, came in here. So, but uh, still more snow fun is coming our your way. So stay tuned. We're about to hit the trail and go find some more fun. It is snowing very much. It's gotten a lot colder too. So. The road up to Bowman was not plowed all the way yet and I tried pushing a little bit and it's not much going so we turned around so we can head towards the Washington so a little bit of a traffic still on the way but we'll get around it and keep going well this is what's gonna be happening for the next 
few miles till we get to Washington if there's no huge trees in the way. So I'll be clearing the path again. I am down at 3 PSI and the Jeep is doing pretty well. So we'll see how things are going to go from here on. And it's getting dark, so, and it's, the snow is actually getting a, a lot more pliable, so hopefully it'll stick better. Well, we made it out to Washington and inflating our tires right now on the observation point just outside of Washington. It was a great day, uh, lots of snow. This is uh, early in the year for us here, but that's just a lot of snow. I mean, we've been pushing over uh, three feet of snow and uh, it's crazy. It's not going, some of the cars go over there pushing it with 40 inch tires and they weren't able to, you know, compact it really good. So it's a good thing that we have a lot of snow right now. It's a ski season opening up and uh, lots of adventures in the snow we can do. So hopefully the snow will continue piling on and we'll have a good snow winter. But uh, if you guys like what we do, give us uh, your like on the video uh, and uh, comment below if you guys uh, like what we're doing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.